What's up, everybody? Me, Tom Gamer here, bringing you the fifth episode of Elevator Pitch Review, bringing you the quick positive and negative of a new game recently released. Let's get started with our next game, Mafia 3. Roll the intro! Before we get into the positive and negative, let's go through the quick details about the game. Mafia 3 is available on PS4, Xbox One and PC. I personally played on the PS4. This game was released on October 7, 2016. This game was developed in partnership with Hangar 13 and 2K Check, and it was also published by 2K Games. The genre of the game is action adventure open world. The ESRB rating is M for mature, and the game is available on disc and download. Now let's get into the positive of the game. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? <sighs> Affirmative action. You know how it is. In my opinion, Mafia 3 offers this year's best storytelling so far to date. What makes it one of the best storytelling of the year is the era that it's set in. Set in the late 1960s, Mafia 3 gets the vibe perfectly, implementing what an actual African American might have felt during the time of the 1960s. Another positive of the game which complements the storytelling is the dynamic neighborhood. Now this is accomplished by when Lincoln is in a poor neighborhood, cops won't just respond as fast compared to if the, he was in a rich neighborhood where they would respond way faster. The voiceover acting is also very well executed. Another positive of the game is the driving. Driving in the game, especially while drifting, feels great. Complementing the drifting is a very nice camera angle that helps add visual effect to it. The last positive of the game is the melee and gunfights. Personally, while I was performing these, I felt like these were very impactful in the game compared to some other games where it doesn't feel like you're actually hitting somebody. Now on to the negative of Mafia 3. Unfortunately, Mafia 3's open world feels quite empty. This is not helped by the side mission or the lack thereof. Honestly, while playing the game, I felt like the side mission had virtually no consequence on the campaign itself. Talking about the campaign, the main campaign missions are a racket mission, which can feel quite repetitive in the long run. One last negative to the game is the AI. The AI itself could have been better developed or more fleshed out. My final verdict for Mafia 3 is buy it. Although some people who dabble less in open world games might not like the repetitiveness of some mission, Mafia 3 still captivates with its storytelling and its well executed voiceover acting. To get a better understanding of my review scale, please visit the link metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me everywhere, me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here, youtube.com forward slash me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Keep that in mind, this is a new time I'm trying out, so this will be the time for the next couple weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching the fifth episode of Elevator Pitch Review, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.